We've helped over a thousand families move to and from South Carolina, and what we've learned is the number one problems families face when relocating to the area is deciding the location in the state that best fits their lifestyle and budget based on current trends. It's the best place to move the Midlands, the Upstate, or the Lowcountry. So in this video, we're going to dig in and share inside information into the different regions in South Carolina and offer our recommendations. We're both lifelong residents of South Carolina, and we are confident that if you watch to the end, you'll have the information you need to make the best decision on the location in South Carolina that will work best for your family, lifestyle, and budget. Hey y'all, I'm Hannah. And I'm Patrick. And we would love to help you along your journey to South Carolina. If you would like to connect and talk more in depth about your move, our contact information can be found below and we'd love to help. Let's get started. So South Carolina is home to the number one rated travel destination for the past 10 years, Charleston, and it has some of the best beaches in the US, beautiful mountain towns, great options for hiking, fishing, and a vibrant capital city, which is home to the University of South Carolina. Technically speaking, South Carolina is divided into six regions, but for the purpose of this video and to keep it simple, I like to focus on four regions. The upstate, the midlands, and the low country and PD coastal areas, which all have very different lifestyles, scenery, and price points. So located in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountain, the upstate of South Carolina is a great choice if you're looking for cooler weather, beautiful mountains, and a vibrant art scene. Greenville's the largest city in the upstate, known for its downtown Main Street area, filled with great restaurant, shop, and entertainment venues. Two other areas in the upstate to consider if you're looking for more of a small town feel are Spartanburg and Anderson, both located right outside of Greenville. There are also several man-made lakes in the upstate. Lake Harwell and Lake Kiwi are the most popular. So the upstate's great for hiking and camping. Table Rock and Pickens, South Carolina is one of my favorite areas to hike. The views are amazing and you can find affordable housing in the area, but Greenville is definitely more expensive than the Midlands and the Columbia area. The upstate is a great pick place to visit and live, but we prefer the Midlands. The Midlands of South Carolina is home to the state's capital and the University of South Carolina. There are many pros of living in the Midlands. This area is known for being one of the most affordable areas in the state and country. Also, the Midlands is close proximity to the other region of the state and other states, and I love how quickly I can get to the beach, mountains, Charlotte, Augusta, or Atlanta. Columbia also has one of the easiest airports to get in and out of in the country. Columbia was just recently ranked second most popular city for Gen Z buyers and one of the top 10 cities for overall growth in 2023. The area is home to young professionals, business owners, college students, and families that enjoy a slower, slower paced downtown lifestyle. So if you'd like to be close to Columbia but not necessarily looking for city living, there's several great options. Lake Murray is located close to downtown and is one of the most affordable lakes in the country. The towns surrounding Lake Murray include Irmo, Chapin, and Lexington, and they are all great places to live and known for their top rated public and private schools, shopping, restaurants, and all of this is within 25 miles of Columbia. The Midlands is also home to two military bases, including the largest military base in the state, Fort Jackson. There's a large military presence in the area, especially around the Northeast Columbia, due to the proximity to the base. There's a lot of family-friendly things to do in the Midlands, including visiting Riverbank Zoo, one of the top zoos in the country, tubing on the rivers, cheering on the Gamecocks at williams Bryce Stadium, or enjoying dinner at one of Columbia's local restaurants. So if you're looking for coastal living, then the low country of South Carolina is perfect for you. This region is home to beautiful marshland, historic plantations, and some of South Carolina's most famous beaches and the number one vacation travel spot in the U.S., Charleston. When people think about the low country, Charleston usually comes to mind, and the downtown area is one of my favorite places full of charm, history, and great restaurants. The low country has a diverse real estate market depending on what lifestyle you're looking for. There's a mix of single family homes, townhomes, and condos. As you can probably guess, the coast is one of the most expensive areas to live. However, you can find more affordable housing areas right outside of Charleston in North Charleston, Lincolnville, Ladston, Monk's Corner, and Somerville. So if you have the money to spend, James Island, Mount Pleasant, and Sullivan Island are great places in close proximity to the beach. Because of the amount of tourism in Charleston, there's always something to do, whether it's enjoying the beaches, drinks at Shim Creek, or catching an outdoor concert at Windjammer. If you're looking for a quieter beach town, Beaufort is a great low country option. Beaufort is smaller, less populated, and as far as affordability goes, Beaufort is on par with Charleston. This area is known for its Annabella mansions, waterfront downtown areas, and beautiful nearby islands, including Fripp and Huntington Island. Fripp is a great family vacation spot and the deers will eat out of your hand. So for those seeking resort style lifestyle, Hilton Head is a top choice. It's a great area known for its world-class courses, including Harbor Town Golf Links, which is the P where the PGA Heritage is played. Most of the communities are gated and includes exclusive amenities only offered to the residents. 
Hopefully this video has given you a better overview of South Carolina and the different places and lifestyles we have here. There are definitely more options than we were able to cover in this video, but if you would like more information and for us to be your guide, we would love to have a conversation with you and offer our resources and recommendations as well. Below you can find the best way to connect with us and if you like this video we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and also our South Carolina Focus newsletter. Links can be found below with our contact information or you can just comment below with your questions. We promise to respond. We would love to help y'all. Bye y'all. Bye.